This is Jay for Nielsen Boxing. I'm here with Jack the Pilgrim again. How are you, Jack? I'm good, mate. Thanks. Um, we're here talking today because you're back out on a Nielsen Boxing show. Yeah. Making a bit of a habit of this. Do you want to tell us about your fight on March 3rd? Um, yeah, it's, it's four weeks today and it's, and it's um, against Obi Egbenichi. And he's um, it's, it's, it's a 10 rounder. And he's got a similar record to me. And he's it, it, it's, it's just the Nielsen Boxing um standard it's 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 a, gonna be a really competitive fight which which is well matched which is what which is what they always do so I'm looking forward to it. Perfect. So this is the third time we've had you out on the show. Um yeah. the previous two times again 50 50 fights. Should we start with the first one? Uh feels so long ago now but back in York Hall against John Brennan. That was for a English eliminator? Yeah. Yeah. Um and then obviously we followed that up with the fight in Liverpool. Yeah. Um, and we're hoping to push on for an English title, I'm assuming, now too. Hopefully, yeah. Um, you know, I feel like this this could easily be for an English title for the for the for the way we're both at in the rankings and our record and everything else. Um this could be for the well well, um this basically is the an English title fight, you know what I mean? Maybe without 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 the title. But that's what I've been going for since last um hey for when I had that the fight with John. Um I've been after the title and, and, and I think after this fight I should definitely um be in even better best position than I am now and be able to get a couple of titles this year. That that that's me goal. I know you've got a background in MMA as well. And yeah. uh, I mean with that, from what I understand, you weren't able to claim titles. Do you feel like once you get a title in boxing it's just a run then you can carry on pushing through? Um yeah I don't yeah definitely I, I just feel like um got to get over that the little the little stage where I'm at now where it's just it's just you know I've, I've only had eight eight fights and I've I've gone up the lines pretty quick and everything but I feel like once you once you fight for your first title and then that's it then pretty much there's that many belts and many routes you can go down once you're there you you're there then you know what I mean as long as you keep winning obviously um but yeah I, I feel like once I get once I get one I'll have a couple. How far do you think you can go in the sport of boxing? As far as, far as I can. I, I, I want world titles. I'm, I'm, I'm in it. I mean, look, I'm, I'm in this, giving it the absolute everything every single day. So I want, I want the absolute most you can get out of it, and that's, that's the way I look at it. But I just take it one day at a time. But I want to be a world champion. So I mean, it's a big card that you're on already. But just taking mm-hmm. a look back to what we had in Liverpool, um, what was yeah. in effect your card? Do you just want to describe to the people what it was like to have that fight in Liverpool and at such a stage as well? Yeah, it, it was. Um, that is one of the you know as I said, then I've only had eight, eight fights in boxing, but I've had sixteen. I had sixteen first fights in MMA all over, all over from from Russia to Ireland in big stadiums and everything else. And and, and I've got more experience then. Um, I've got more. Sorry, I should just read something from. I've got um, I've got more experience than I let up, than I let on. So, but that Liverpool night was was right up there. It was probably my favorite, my favorite night. It, it it was amazing and it was special. And, and the venue made it that way. And I think the venue was the, the the roof was quite low, which made the noise even um made the crowd seem louder than what it was, and um. I think for that reason, all the, all of the fights that night were were great because everyone um, could feel the crowd. You know, all the fighters, even even some genuine that was on, they were fighting a lot, a lot harder than they usually than they usually did because of the crowd. So it was it was just a special night from start to finish. I mean, yeah, you certainly bring a crowd, and you did that night. Um, yeah. People often talk about you bringing celebrities to fights as well. Be yeah. it Stephen, be it Tom. I see you training with a new celebrity, a TikToker, YouTuber. Yeah, TikToker. It was yesterday. Yeah, how's that um, going? It was good. Me, me mate just said, um, um, can we kind of bring Ollie down to the gym? He's training and just do, just do his day. But he should be coming to the gym yesterday and just done pull the pads and, and just as a as a little mess around. And he, but, but he's an he's an eighteen off kid. He's only seventeen, and he's um he couldn't have been he couldn't have been. I've only got good things to say about him, and and, and he's he he trains hard so. It was a fun day. I think it's nice to see there's a lot of this crossover boxing, but a lot of them actually do put the graft in. What do you think about the crossover boxing? 
I haven't got any issue that me people look at it negatively, but I, I just look at it as it's just it's just like a it's just like a, a form of entertainment. Do you know what I mean? Like like they're just putting on a show. So I feel like when when people go oh, oh, and they compare it to boxing and and, and everything else, I just me personally, I just look at it as two as two different things. So, um, so yeah, I, I that, that, that that's my views on it. Yeah, no, I get that. I think anybody who's prepared to lace up a pair of gloves and get into the ring. Whether yeah. it be professional boxing or YouTuber or amateur, or whatever, there's got to be a level of respect there as well. Yeah, hundred percent. Um, so, lastly, what can we expect on March third, and uh, anything for sponsors, fans? You know, I think I think it's going to be a, a great fight between me and Obi, and um, and he he always puts on good fights anyway. I do myself, and the cards already stacked. So, um. Nielsen always puts 50, 50, 50 fights on, competitive fights. So I think he'll miss out if you, if, if you don't get down there. But um, I'm just looking forward to putting on a show and, and showing off some of the stuff I've been working on in the gym because I, I didn't get to because my fight got called off um, in December. So I feel like I'm going to show big improvements in this one and, 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 and it's going to be a, a great night again. Um, I, I've, I've had great nights in your hall so far and, and I'm looking to keep it going. Um, as far as my sponsors go, my sponsors the power is the power of one um charity, and it's um they, they they've literally changed. I've been with them for all, over the year, and they they changed my life massively. And part of the reason I had such a good year last year was pretty much all down to them and the support they've given me. So if I just ask everyone to just check them out and 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 um and the 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 there's genuine people where all the money goes to the right place and, and, and it's just it's dog first and and just have a look and, and, and support me if you can please. That's it.